um, there are a couple of versions because there have been one or two players playing it. If you look at the studio version, the very first version, um, there are two guitars, one is playing low and one is playing high from the start. Later on, one is playing low um, for four times round and then the fourth time round the high one comes in as well. So I'll show you the the low riff, you see the guitar, the low riff, um, and I'll do it slow. It comes in to start with with a percussive stroke, and then on the upstroke is when they play the main uh, chord, which is A. Um, excuse me. Again, on the original, uh, you need to tune your guitar to E flat, which is the every string is tuned down a semitone. I'm going to play it in E. Um, because there are backing tracks you can play to where they're, they're in the E. So it's a percussive, and then use your first finger to bar strings two, three, and four, and the A string is open. So percussive, relax your hand on the strings, and then squeeze your first finger in. Okay. And that's the, the first. Uh, two strokes down, cursive up. Okay, and then the next part is uh, I'll do it slowly. So we've done the, uh, the first drum, and we then use the second finger on fret three of the second string, and the third finger on fret uh, four of the fourth string, and it's. Okay, keeping this A string open. Okay, so it's okay. And then we have percussive for down up. So down, uh, sorry, percussive up. Okay, that chord um, and then percussive. So. The A is still open. These are percussive down here. Okay, so that is a um, that's a, a D. Uh, if you play a C shape, it's actually the D, but we're not playing that. We're playing the A instead, uh, which is that one. Percussive, and then we play that chord again, and then pull off with these two fingers with the second and third finger. spoke to you before about splitting your fretboard uh, in half that way so you've got the bass notes and the trebles okay so we come back to the bass so. I'm just playing the A string and the fourth string there and then I'm going uh, down up down up down on that chord again uh, which is this D here D with the third in there Percussive again, down up, and then pull off. Okay, and then we'll do the hit at the first um, chord, uh, the A chord again. So. Because if uh, before that second chord, sorry, okay, I'll do all that. So we do that pull off with this all the time. Um, on the, the the original, the studio version. Uh, one guitar player is up here, again depending on who's in the band at the time, and it's a D shape. That D shape. So the D shape here, 
move all that up to, so these two fingers on fret 9, okay, and that makes it an A. Okay, so the A chord, you'll see some people playing here, it's not played there, it's played here. If you study the videos closely, you'll, the live videos, you'll see that it's, it's played there. The first finger is pushed up to the, um, the fourth string, and the, again the A is open. The chords I'm playing here, I'm playing a D shape. It's still an A chord, but it's a D shape. If you don't know why, go to my Patreon site, <laughs> patreon.com forward slash Chris J. Connolly, and I'll explain everything with that. Um, and the sus4 here, the sus4 of, of a D is a little finger on, and the pull off. So we're taking that D shape to fret 9, and that's the same as, as this here. is in there we got the, the the verse so we've got this a um, chord again and again we're splitting the fretboard we're doing the um, plain strings um, five four and three there maybe two now and again doesn't matter if you do um, and we've got some percussive in there uh, but it's, it's the the right hand palm muted with the right hand here again, it's on my Patreon site. If you want to learn palm muting, I'll quickly show you now. You rest the soft part of your hand just on the bridge here, so it's just touching the um, the strings. It sounds like that. Not like that. Like that. Not like that. Just like that. Okay. And then again, we're playing this A chord here. So we play the, the A chord. Down, down, down. And then with the, the percussive. We do that at the palm muting here. So I'm not using this hand, I'm using this one. Okay, so you get your palm muting going. Play the A open twice. Sorry. Okay. And then I'm coming further down the fretboard to include the other strings. So I'm playing the A chord. Then I'm putting the, the second finger and third finger on again, same place. I'm playing that twice, so I'll do that again. Once more slowly. And then the A, uh, or the, yeah, the A in the fifth again. Okay. The second time keeps these fingers on and does a pull off. Like I'll do it slowly. the lead up to the um, to the verse and then in the verse um, he does this as well that, um, for the intro uh, so it goes like this and just after the pull off Second guitarist is, is playing the D, touching the um, fourth string with his first finger so he doesn't play, and keeping the A open. Okay. Uh, we then have um, the, the pre chorus, I suppose you call it, or the, I call it the bridge uh, between the verse and the chorus of the bridge. You might hear it called the pre chorus. We're doing a bit of a um, Fifth and sixth, so it's, it's a bit of a rock and roll. 
it's on the thing, but uh, slowly, so it's... So do that slowly. It's an E, sorry, E chord, didn't tell you that bit, that would help, wouldn't it? Uh, so it's an E chord, um, taking it from the A here, over to uh, string 5 and 4, fretting, um, string 5 and 4, fret 2, keeping the A open, and the little finger, you can use your third finger, so you plays the uh, fourth fret of the A string. Just once. And then... Twice on the E, and then back to the little finger here. Again. And then we're using the G note on uh, string six. Play that twice. A bit of vibrato. Fret two, which is F sharp. And then the open string. And then I'm playing uh, half a D chord, or two thirds of a D chord. I've got my first finger on fret two of the G string, and my second finger really only ever in case I hit it on the third fret of the second string. You can get away with two there, but put that there just in case you hit it, otherwise it'll sound really bad. Okay. Riff here. And the chorus, Rosalie. Thank you. Oh, if you want to see more, I'll probably put the tab and probably a more detailed. Uh, explanation on the Patreon site at Chris J. Connolly. No, it's patreon.com, Chris J. Connolly. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.